businesswoman Anne Jerry, who is at the center of the controversial 17 billion shilling oil consignment, has been questioned by members of parliament who accused her of presenting fake documents before the House. The businesswoman defended all her filings in parliament, saying her documents are authentic and the oil consignment belongs to her. Members of the National Assembly Energy Committee are now planning to travel to Dubai to ascertain if indeed Jerry paid for the oil consignment as alleged. And as Stephen, Le Stephen Leto reports, Anne Jerry is demanding for compensation after it emerged that the oil cargo has already been sold. After several summons, businesswoman Anne Jerry finally appeared before the National Assembly Energy Committee to shed light on the 17 billion shillings oil saga. The committee wanted to know who between Anne Jerry and Galana Energies owns the fuel cargo. I, Anne and Jerry Choroge. According to the documents before Parliament, the two parties claim to have each paid for the oil consignment through different banks. payment clearly was it through credit or as a letter of credit, ama pay cash money. Well, we were in Nalipa MT103, direct wire. You direct, it was a direct wire. Yes. We were to cash money. To the other bank, yes. And Jerry, however, declined to present her bank transactions to the lawmakers, saying they are private and confidential. Kuna uweze kano, uweze kutuonesha dibitisho ya kwamba ulilipia imafuta. Labda kutoka hapa, Ama kutoka, kama ulilipia kutoka Dubai. Niko na thibitisho, lakini haiwezi kusukua saturated kwa watu. It's private and confidential. Na inezo peanu wa kwa chairman wetu. Anezo kuyona ye mwenyewe. Let me, let me, let me your daughter. And Jerry was also put on the spot in what the committee claimed was presentation of fake documents from KRA. I want to put it to you. Kwamba ile, ile tax compliance certificate ambayo mmepatiana is fake. Oh, it's not fake. I have it, it is fake. Your documentation is actually in total reverse. The first is the last, the middle should have been the second. Jerry was also at pains to explain why her company made an application for license for import, export and wholesale of petroleum products to the Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority, EPRA, when her alleged fuel consignment had already docked. Even as Galana Energies claims the 17 billion shillings worth of fuel belongs to them, businesswoman Anne Jerry wants Parliament to ensure she gets justice and order government to compensate her after it emerged that the oil cargo has already been sold. With both parties claiming ownership, members of the National Assembly Energy Committee are now planning to travel to Dubai to a certain if Jerry paid for the oil consignment as alleged. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV.